Welcome to Beer Talk with V Chalk. I'm V Chalk. It's Wet Your Whistle Wednesday. line today and picked up a six pack for about I think it was $11 um, so again it was one of those flat price six packs um, it's very small the selection if you guys saw my video um, for Sunday um, when we went shopping for these beers you can see the selection was really small um, but you know what I'm not leaving any store out if they have a build your own six pack I'm going anyway so I got six different beers and um, you know I'm super excited to try these beers with you guys Dude, if you have not been to Starbucks, you need to get the new drinks. It's like called a Granada. I got like the strawberry limeade and it is so freaking good. Again, Starbucks is my second love. Mm. When we're rating, we're using a system called BPS, Beer Promoter Score, four questions. Every question has certain points that add up to 10, 10 being perfect, one being the worst beer that you've tried. Remember, all of these reviews are just my opinion. Just because I like it doesn't mean you're going to like it, and just because you're going to like it doesn't mean I'm going to like it. I'm not an expert. I just like drinking beer. Let's get started on our first beer. Okay, so I had a suggestion from one of my friends saying that I should actually pour the beer into a cup so that way you guys can kind of see the, the look and the kind of consistency of the beer. So I'm going to start that from here. If you think it's a great idea, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, that's okay. So guys, this is for the non-beer drinkers. Um, this is more of a lighter side to beer. Um, it's more like an apple juice in my opinion. Normally they're really sweet. Um, so let's see. So as you can see the color is super light. Um, it's definitely a little bubbly but it's very very light just like apple juice. Um, so this is 5% alcohol. Um, it says a touch of wildflower honey adds a bright floral aroma and slight roundness to the cider. Subtle honey notes highlight the crisp apple flavor and the cider that is light and refreshing, perfect for those warm summer days. That's awesome. Alrighty, so um, let's get started. Question number one, does it taste good? Let's see. That's great. I feel like you can taste the alcohol more in this one specifically than others that I've tried before, um, but it's definitely good. Um, so I'm going to give this two points because I would definitely drink it again. Um, it's not something that I'm going to order at a bar, but you know, if somebody had it at their house, I would totally pick it out. Um, like I said, I can't really explain any other than apple juice. You know, it may have like a honey note, um, but it's really smooth, really light, great for a summer's day for sure. Question number two, does it have a cool bottle? Honestly, um, this bottle didn't attract me. I really think this was the last beer that I picked up. Um, I know I have a lot of people that don't necessarily drink beer that watch my channel, so I wanna provide as much as I can to them to get them started because they are asking for suggestions. Um, but, you know, it, it didn't catch my eye. I just picked it up because it was a cider, so this one gets zero points for question number two. Question number three, the price. So again, this is the second time I've done this. But yes, this one is worth the price. It's $11 for one six pack. You pick the beers, $11, a great price. So this gets two points as well. I did forget to say on a scale of one to 10 for the taste for this, um, I would go ahead and give it about a seven. It's pretty darn good. So last question, question number four, am I gonna recommend this to you guys? Yeah, I totally would. Like I said, I would definitely recommend this to people who are just wanting to start drinking beer, um, people who definitely like ciders, um, and of course beer drinkers, if you want something that's not your normal everyday beer, um, I would totally pick this up. Great to drink by the pool, um, so this gets four points total. So out of 10 points, this beer gets eight. Cheers. Beer number two. All right, so beer number two is by Waterfront Brewing Company. Um, it's IPA, um, Indiana Pale Ale, IPA. Um, this has 5.7% alcohol. I'm definitely a little nervous to try this. Again, I'm not a big fan of IPAs. I definitely just like to try them and see if I find one that I actually like. Um, normally what I find is if you just continue drinking it, even though you don't like it, it gets a little bit better after the initial taste. Um, but you know, I haven't tried this one again. So um, let's try it. All right, let's see what it looks like. Oh 
oh man, so this is more of like a caramely beer. Um, still definitely light on the lighter side. Um, it's definitely completely see-through. Um, so it's a, definitely a pretty beer. So let's get to rating. So question number one, does it taste good? Oh no. There's nothing that I like about that. Um, ugh. So this one gets zero points. This is terrible. It's just too much hoppy. Ugh. I just can't drink that. Zero points. Um, question number two. I did have a cool bottle. No, I didn't, you know, actually pick this one up for any, you know, particular reason. It was just one that was there. Honestly, I thought it said watermelon, you know, when it was on the shelf. And then I picked it up. It said waterfront. So I was like, all right. Since I picked it up, I'm going to go ahead and get it. Um, but yeah, so this gets zero for no question number two. Ugh. Question number three, is it worth the price? No, this is not worth the price. Again, I would never drink this again. Even if it was by choice, it was the only thing left in somebody's house for me to drink that night. I would probably just stay sober. I would not drink that at all. Sorry, guys, but it's just not good. So I would definitely give this a zero for question number three. Question number four now, um, am I going to recommend this to you guys? Eh, eh. I can't. So this gets a zero out of zero points. On a scale of one to ten for taste, I think this would be like a negative two. This is terrible. Beer number three. All right. So the beer that we have right here is the Star Hill Brewery. Um, it's called the Reviver Red IPA. There we go with the IPA again. All right. It's seasonal. Um, let's see. Uh, it says a ruby red Indiana pale ale brewed with American hops for a refreshing citrus aroma and balance and flavor balanced by a um, firm maltness for springtime. Hello, Legs. So, friends, um, this is my cat, Legs. Hello. All right. <laughs> so, um, I can't find the alcohol percentage on this one. Oh, just kidding. It's 6.2%. Um, it's cool. It's from Charlottesville, Virginia. Shout out to Virginia. Let's try it. Let's see how it looks. Okay. Um, it's a little bit darker than the last beer that we just tried. Um, but it's maybe just by a hair. Uh, but it's pretty much the same color. It's nice caramel, light color. Um, so let's go ahead and taste it. Question number one. Does it taste good? You know, guys, I mean, this one isn't as bad as the last one, but I still don't enjoy drinking it. Let me try it one more time. It just smells terrible, even. No. This one is no good. So this definitely gets zero. This is with the last one we just tried for sure. Like, it's it's not that bad, but it's still just as bad. Boom. Question number two, does it have a cool bottle? No, the only reason why I picked it up is because it was by Star Hill, and sometimes Star Hill have, you know, some good beers that I've tried before. Um, so this gets a zero for question number two. Question number three, is it worth the price? Hell no, this one is definitely not worth the price either. I wish I wouldn't have picked up the last one or this one, but hey, you learn from it, you won't pick it up again. Question number four, am I gonna recommend it? Come on, no. Zero. This beer gets zero out of ten points. And again, on a scale of one to ten for the taste, this is like a negative. Or j this is just zero. This is like none. You know, it is pretty bad. So, so today's my grandpa's birthday, and I'm super excited. Um, he lives in Florida, and he came up here to visit us. He always does on his birthday. And I pretty much have the coolest grandparents in the world. Um, they're probably the coolest people I know. Uh, but yeah, so super excited. We're actually taking them out to dinner in a few. We're going to a barbecue place because they love barbecue. And I mean, come on, barbecue is damn good anyways, but it sounds like a great dinner. So I have to drink all of these beers and then go to dinner with the grandpa. Love you, Paul. Beer number four. So you guys, this beer is the Smith and Forge Hard Cider Made Strong. And in the fine tradition of making things strong. I'm going to become the Hulk when I drink this. 
Um, so again, this is something for people who were more towards cider, less beer, just starting to drink beer. I picked this out for you. Um, this is kind of cool. It's gluten free. Um, so if you're allergic to gluten, this would be a great beer for you. And it's 6% alcohol. Um, let's get to tasting. Smells great. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. So the first cider that we tried, I feel like it was a little bit lighter. This is more of like a honey color. Um, I really feel like I'm going to enjoy this one though. So let's try it. Question number one, does it taste good? Oh man, this tastes great. This is apple juice. Like this is apple juice all day, all the way. There's no other way to explain it. I mean, it's just as crisp as it can be. Definitely fresh apples. Um, this makes me think of like October and Halloween, fall time, Thanksgiving. Um, like this would totally be great to drink with Thanksgiving dinner. Like absolutely. Yeah, so this is totally good. I'm gonna go ahead and give this two points. Question number two, does it have a cool bottle? No, I don't, I, for some reason, none of these beers really attracted me. I'm saving the best one for last, by the way. But anyways, I just picked this up. This is the first cider that I actually picked up because I really wanna make sure I'm doing everything I can for all of my viewers. So zero points for question number two. Now, question number three, is it worth the price? Absolutely. Six beers, $11, way to go. Yeah, so question number three, um, is it worth the price? 100%, two points. And question number four, am I gonna recommend it to you guys? Absolutely, beer drinkers, non-beer drinkers, pick this up, great summer drink, very crisp, four points. Oh, and I keep forgetting, on a scale of one to 10 for the taste, I would give this one at least an eight, this is damn good. Last but not least, this beer is the coolest beer that I picked up the entire time. I've tried this a long time ago. It was probably like a good two years ago. I was at Wabi Sabi. Um, it's a sushi place. But this beer, the bottle was so freaking cool. So um, let's try it. All right, look how cool this is. I don't know if you're catching this, but it's freaking Buddha on a bottle. Buddha on a bottle. Yeah, like how freaking cool is that? I actually think I kept the bottle from the first one that I tried, but I'm not sure where it is. But I'm definitely going to keep this one, and I'm definitely going to put it on a shelf in my new house. And um, maybe buy myself some freaking flowers to put it in and use it as a vase. Anyways, um, yeah, super freaking cool. Really excited to try. So let me tell you what it actually is. It's called um, Lucky Buddha. Um, it's 4.8% alcohol. Okay, so it's just a lighter beer. Um, says imported beer products of China. Alrighty, well, I'm super excited about that. Um, hopefully soon my brother and my sister-in-law, um, talked about sending me some Japanese beers. That's where they actually live right now. So maybe having like a Japanese beer special, like how freaking cool would that be? Um, if you think that's a great idea, give me a thumbs up. So that way and they'll go ahead and get me some beer sooner. All right, let's see what it looks like. All right, so this is almost like the cider that we had. Um, it's definitely light in color. Hi, legs. All right, so it's definitely light in color. Um, so let's try it. Okay, so this definitely isn't bad. It's not the greatest thing that I've ever had. For some reason, it kind of reminds me of Heineken a little bit. I don't know if it's because it's a green bottle and that's reminding me why, but that's the only thing that can come to mind. This is definitely a true beer, you know, another, no other flavor than just regular beer in here. Um, it's definitely crisp beer. It's more on the lighter side for sure. Um, you know, it would be me maybe drinking like a Miller Lite. Like that's what I'm kind of comparing it to other than Heineken because that's how light it is. Um, so I would go ahead and give this a one point for question number one because, you know, it's not bad, but it's not my favorite. All right, dude. No, come here. No. Hello.
My name is Legs, and I like beer too. Subscribe to my mom's page. He's so happy to be here with me. Can't you tell? So for question one, this gets one point. Question number two, does it have a cool bottle? Hell yes, this is the main reason why I picked this bottle up. Like I said, I'm freaking keeping this, putting it on a shelf, using it as a vase. Yes, this gets two out of two points for sure, all day. Um, question number three, is it worth the price? I totally think it is. Six beers, $11, good deal, awesome bottle, very decorative, cool all around. Question number four, am I gonna recommend this? Yeah, I totally would. I'm only gonna give it three points though. You know, it's not all the way four points, um, but it is definitely decent. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick it with three. I'm gonna go ahead and give this three out of four points um, because it's not my favorite, but it's definitely still great. I would totally still drink it again. Um, so this beer gets an eight out of 10 points. You guys, I almost forgot. I have one more beer. I only did five. Let's get to the last beer and then we'll be good. All right, last beer of the day. Um, it's a Guinness Blonde American Lager. Um, let's see, it's 5% alcohol. And it says, a crisp, refreshing tasting beer with a rich, delicious flavor brewed in America and the Guinness tradition um, with mosaic and William Met American hops combined with our famous Guinness yeast. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and try it. I can't believe I almost forgot to try this beer. All right, let's see it. All right, it's just yellow, very light. Um, awesome. I need to try some dark beer soon, that's my favorite. All right, let's taste it. So question number one, does it taste good? So guys, um, this one isn't, I wouldn't drink this one again. It kind of gives me that metal taste. I think I've described this in my last video that one of the beers gave me a metal taste in my mouth and this is exactly what happens with this one. So I do not like anything about it. Um, I mean, it's definitely a lighter beer. I just don't like the taste. So I'm gonna give this zero for question number one. For question number two, um, did it have a cool bottle? Honestly, the gold really caught my eye. Um, the blonde on the front is you know, the reason why I picked it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one out of two points because you know it did kind of catch my eye. Question number three, is it worth the price? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a zero because again, I would not drink this again. It is not one of my favorites. Um, so I, I would not buy this again. So zero points for question number three. And question number four, um, I maybe give this one a one point um, for maybe recommend just because, you know, I I don't hate it, but I don't really like it either and I wouldn't try it. So I don't really know what to give this one. So it's just going to get a one. So you guys, this beer gets two out of ten points. So again, it's not that great, but I definitely wouldn't drink it again. So guys, I really just want to thank you so much for watching. I'm so super excited to be continuing doing this. Each and every view that I get gets me so much more excited. It blows my mind how many of you guys are actually, you know, watching my videos, you're supporting, you're sharing. Um, you know, I really want this to be of interest to you. So if you, if you have any suggestions on beer you'd like me to try, definitely leave me a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. So if you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. You can also find me on Facebook, Victoria Chalkley. If you want to hit me up on here, go for it. Email me at beertalkwithvchalk at gmail.com. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Be chalk out. Email me at beertalkwithvchalk.com. I'll wait. All white.